The NEC suite of contracts allows for flexibility in selecting the preferred payment mechanism. This is dealt with under the main option clauses, which include option A, price contract with activity schedule, option B, price contract with bill of quantities, option C, target contract with activity schedule, option D, target contract with bill of quantities, option E, cost reimbursable contract, option F, management contract, and option G, term contract. In this video, we're going to delve deeper into option B, price contract with bill of quantities. As the name suggests, under this option, the contract includes a price bill of quantities. Each item on the bill has a corresponding rate, which forms part of the overall price. However, unlike option A, the price isn't fixed. The final price is based on a remeasure carried out at the end of a project or during the interim payment cycle. Payment is made based on actual measured quantities multiplied by the associated rate. So it's that simple, right? The contractor is paid for the measured work times the rate in the contract. Well, not always. But before we explain why, I wanted to quickly tell you about Matrone Learning, our online learning platform containing 50 hours of courses that can be used as formal CPD. Head over to matrone.co.uk to find out more. Clause 60.4 allows for compensation events in circumstances where the difference between the total quantity of work done and the quantity stated for an item in the bill of quantities derives a significant change in the defined cost. This ensures both parties aren't tied to a rate that no longer reflects the reality on site. For example, if the bill includes 10 meters cubed of excavation, but the final measured quantity ends up at 100 meters cubed, the rate might be reduced to reflect economies of scale. Pros to this option include, it's fairer when quantities are uncertain at the outset, the employer pays for what's actually built. It gives a clear mechanism for payment, making valuation straightforward if the bill is well prepared. It encourages transparency between parties through measured work. Cons of this option include, preparing a detailed and accurate bill takes time and cost up front. It relies on regular, accurate measurement. If this slips, so can the commercial control. There's potential for disputes around remeasurement and the application of clause 60.4. If you enjoyed this video, please consider clicking the like button. It really does help us grow our audience. And if you haven't already, why not subscribe so you never miss a weekly upload? Matrone, a commercial hub for your business.